everyone, today I decided to go ahead and do my makeup room tour. I know that you guys have asked me to do a makeup kind of storage collection, so I'm sure I show you guys some things that I use to store um, my makeup, like my little bins and little trays and stuff like that. So again, I just want to um, show you guys how I do my storage. This is in no way I'm not bragging. I don't open and show you every product that I own because it would take me forever. Um, I feel like I have a lot of makeup, but um, for some of you guys may have more, but that's fine. Um, I'm not bragging about how much makeup I have or what I own here. I'm just showing you how I store things because you guys have asked, so I'm willing to share. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't um, get too dizzy because I know I move the camera a lot. So um, I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video as usual. And let's get started on my room tour. Okay, so this is my makeup room. When you come in, this is what you see. And I have like this old bureau um, that I have from an old bed set that I had here um, with just drawers for pretty much just storage. So I'm going to bring you a little bit closer. Um, starting over here, just some candles, some little holiday decorations, little wallflowers, that thing that I mentioned in my favorites, and my Hello Kitty. Here are all of my InStyle magazines, my Glamour magazines, um, and what else? Marie Claire and Allure. I keep my magazines because I like to look through them. I have a lot, I know. Um, <laughs> but here are just some like Twilight books and the Lauren Conrad, her first book. Here are my um, Pretty Little Liars books. Here are just, just some random, you know, um, hair care products that I use on and off. These are just some polishes that I was messing with earlier. Um, this is how I dry my brushes when I wash them. So these are still drying. Um, but yeah, that's my little setup. So I'm going to move them back just for the purpose of this video. So you guys can see in here. This first drawer is pretty much just my false eyelashes, sample packets. Um, so when I do makeup, or these are just tan towels on some, you know, friends and, you know, family members, clients and stuff like that. I can give them samples, especially of things that I use on them. Eyelash curler, dual eyelash adhesive, um, just makeup sponges. I need to restock on those. In this drawer here, I just have um, just some palettes. This is the um, Wish for the Eye Palette from last year's um, Christmas. Um, well, not last year in 2010, but this is 2009's Wish Palette from Smashbox. This is the also for the Wish for the Perfect Palette um, from 2009. This is also um, from the Lorac Christmas Collection from last year. I don't know if some of you guys may have this, but I don't really use it. Um, this next drawer is pretty much all of my palettes. This is um, a um, basically a you know backstock if you want to call it um, primer from Napoleon Purtis and um, a whole new fresh mascara um, just in case I decide to give it to somebody that I'm doing their makeup on. Here are just some palettes um, from Urban Decay, Smashbox, um, Benefit, Stila. I have my Mac here. I have some more um, Napoleon. I have some NYX palettes, the glitter, um, the Kat Von D, and it goes on in there. There's a whole lot more stuff. Cargo. So, just my little palettes that I have in here. You guys have seen this little setup here before. Um, don't mind that bag from Ulta. It's stuff that I just purchased. Um, but this is basically where I stored my, um, or where I keep my perfumes. These are my MAC palettes. I have two of them so far. These drawers here, um, they're not the best, you know, as far as storage wise. I mean, they're a little bit flimsy, but they serve a pretty good purpose for keeping my makeup um, organized. This drawer in here has all of my new items, the items that I've had within the first, within the first, oh my gosh, I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, these are the makeup um, items that I've had here in the first drawer. Um, these are th things that I've purchased recently. I have the MAC Disney stuff. I have the um, Bare Essentials or Bare Minerals um, Holiday Kit. The 10 piece charm collection. I have um, Tarina Tarantino, Too Faced, um, the Naked Palette by Urban Decay, some um, extra eyeliners for the Frontal Line Pro from Lorac, which I love those. Those are liquid liners. Um, Smashbox Masquerade here. Um, so these are basically new items, this drawer and then also the second drawer. These are all of my fairly new things. These are from the Burlesque um, kit from Smashbox, my blush. Brand new raised paste, my um, moisturizer, tart lip glosses. This drawer here has all of my eyeliners. I have one for the smaller sizes um, and um, perfect for my when I travel. These are just my regular um, eyeliner, pencils, liquid liners, and stuff like that. 
And this is just a tin that I got um, from Cargo. It came with like a bronzer and a kabuki brush and lip gloss. So I just reused it. And also these drawers um, that I have. I have a few of them. Let's see. Do I have the tags? Yeah. I saw the little tag here. This is just the... Let me see if I can get it a little bit better. This is the um, Rubbermaid drawer organizers. You can get these at um, Target. You can get them at um, Walmart or wherever. And that's what I use to basically store my um, some makeup, which is still... This is under construction, really. It's not really complete. I have another one of those things with some blushes and some bronzers and basically products that I don't really reach for. That's why they're kind of over here. In this drawer, I have my Urban Decay um, Book of Shadows, um, the NYC one from Urban Decay. I have my Alice in Wonderland in here. The next drawer down here is going to be all of um, my empty packages and boxes of things that I want to review for you guys that I've had for either a few months or just recent. This is just where I have, um, it's pretty much empty, not really much in here. This is just um, my brush roll for my brushes. Here I have my curling iron and my brushes. For hair brushes, I should say. These are um, foundation concealers and whatnot for skin tones that are obviously darker than mine. These are not personal ones. These are ones that I use on other people. Um, this is my little desk here. Um, this drawer here flaps open, comes up like that, which I really don't really use, and so does this side here. I mainly just use it for the big space on here. Um, here I have all of my brushes. I've showed you guys my little brush storage thing with the little beads. Um, if you're wondering, those beads are um, bean bag fill. So I have all of my eye brushes here, my Sigma, my MAC ones. Um, more eye brushes here. These are all of my face brushes. More brushes in here. Can't have too many brushes. Um, this is where I have like this little thing came with a little set for drawer organization in the um, like office supply store. So all of my eyeshadow primers that I have. My phone. Hello, my mirror. This is my light. It's kind of bright, but it's just one of those. This one you can pull it up forward, you can pull it towards you, push it back, so it's pretty cool. It's just, it gets really hot and it's pretty bright. So here are other palettes, my Makeup Forever palette. Um, these are my 88 ones from Coastal Sense, my MAC um, Fix Plus. These are just some sample as makeup remover, just a tin from their holiday. Little samples of things, especially when I travel or when I'm going away for a few days. I like to take smaller things. I don't like to carry too much of, you know, full-size products because it can be bulky. Another bright light. And in this thing here, this drawer here is where I keep pretty much a lot of the things that I use on a daily basis or that I really love and I like to have them at arm's length. Here I have my NARS um, loose powder. Um, this is Lancome Gel Liner, Laura Geller. That's a sample lip gloss. Here I have all of my uh, fluid lines by MAC, which are those three. I have the Smashbox, Maybelline. Here are some eyeshadows. Concealer back here. I mean, this doesn't really come out too much. Well. Maybe I can pull this little thing out so you guys can see what it looks like. And I got this, like I said, at office supply stores. So this is basically an organizer for, whoa, got too close, for the drawers for pencils and paper clips and whatnot. Um, this is a mascara that I got for Christmas, and it's the new one from um, the Naughty Lash one from MAC, which I really like. These are just some MAC blushes that I need to put in a palette. My NARS um, Laguna Bronzer, my Benefit Professional. Some eyeliners that I use almost every day that I keep there um, close by. So now this goes back in here. And this little thing here, if I can get it out, probably not. Let me move this out. Um, come on. Maybe not. Anyways, sorry about that. This is just like a 3 by 9 inch um, drawer organizer. This is basically made for, you can do pencils in here, you could do, you know, if you're organizing your kitchen, you could do spatulas and utensils, but this is where I keep all of my professional makeup brushes. Um, these are the um, the Sigma ones from the Professional Advanced Professional Kit. So I have those. Those are the ones that you can get the set um, for 150 You can get those brushes. They're awesome brushes. I love them. So then we come to this little storage unit here. Um, up here I have just a brand new kit. This is um, the Tarte High Performance and Natural um, Radiant and Rested Kit, which I'm going to review here soon. This top drawer here basically just has um, some brow powders, brow gels, um, my eye bright, lash comb, basically little things here and there that I need. Extra gel liners that really don't fit in my other drawer. This next one here has all of my mascaras, um, full size mixed in with um, travel sizes which I liked the minis. Another drawer of mascaras, all kinds of mascaras that I use 
Um, I usually use about three different mascaras every day. Um, so I mix them. That's why I have so many. And I mean, I do toss them out so they haven't been there that long. These are all of my um, gel liners, cream liners, liquid liners, like from Urban Decay. This is one from, uh, what is this? The, let's see, focus camera. Or not. This is the L'Oreal Carbon Intense Liner. And here I have all of my loose eyeshadows from, this is my MAC pigment, which I love. Um, but here's um, all of my loose eyeshadows from Bare Essentials or Bare Minerals. My Polydorf Transformer transforms um, any powdered shadow, like loose form, into a liquid. Here is just my Smashbox Wish for the Perfect palette um, that came out this, well, last year in December. And I'll open this. So oh, my camera needs to focus. Let's see. Hopefully it will focus. Okay. If I can get this thing open. But it comes, looks like this, and it's got a lot of eyeshadows in it, so in a mirror. My tripod to hold my camera. In this little storage unit thing here, I have um, foundations and powders um, and setting powders. Basically, all the foundation products that I use, the other ones I put away um, or I've tossed. Um, but these are just basically just powders that I've used. Um, this one here has all of my foundations. have my Revlon, my NARS Sheer Glow, my Lorac ones. Um, my China Doll by Napoleon, which is an excellent foundation. It's just a little expensive. My Tarte um, Tinted Moisturizer, which I love. Let's see. My High Beam by Benefit. This is the um, new Studio Secrets um, L'Oreal Makeup Primer. And some more illuminating products. My Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick, which is really good. More Autopilot. I mean, how much Autopilot do I need to have from Napoleon? This drawer here has all of my blush products that I um, use on a regular basis. Um, some of them I do use more frequently than others, but these are my absolute favorite ones that I cannot live without, so I have them in the drawer really close to me. My favorite is like the Tarina Tarantino blushes. She makes excellent quality brushes, my MAC one. Here is my bronzer, more MAC, more MAC, Smashbox, um, Smashbox, Napoleon, my Givenchy blush, which is excellent. I love that. Um, Smashbox, these are all of my box powders by, um, Benefit, and I have some more, I have my mineral, Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC in there, my Blush Cream Stick by NYC, which I've only used once before. In this drawer here, or this set of drawers, like I have, um, several of them, um, but this is where I have all of my loose eyeshadows, and I have another little container here that you can use, for, like I said, for pencils, or if you use, you can use them in your kitchen to organize, but here are all of my loose eyeshadows. I have some in here, then I have some, these are Lorac, I have, um, more Lorac, this is Kat Von D, I have MAC, I have cream, um, shadows by, uh, Urban Decay, which I love, my Laura Geller, um, these are more Lorac, or no, these are actually Napoleon Purtis loose, um, um, loose, let's see what these are called, gold digger glimmer dust, something like that, anyways, sorry for the long pause, but those are from 2009's collection for Christmas, here are, um, all of my MAC, um, paint pots, and my cream, creaseless cream shadow from Benefit, um, more Lorac, and yeah, so that's basically how I store those. This next drawer here is, if I can, oh, it's a little bit harder for me to open here. I'm trying to get it. Um, here are all of my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencils that I use as bases underneath um, eyeshadow. Here are all of, like, my liquid um, eyeshadows from Bourjois. Another MAC pigment from the Alice and Olivia collection. I love this one. This one is, if you're wondering, it's called Partylicious. Here are all of, like, my little small palettes that I can throw in my purse. Or when I travel, I have Revlon, Lorac. I have Napoleon Curtis under here. Let's see, Maybelline, Revlon, CoverGirl. In here, I have all of like my um, tiny ones. These are my ELF ones. They were like a buck, and they're really cheap. And I mean, they're really pretty. Actually, pretty decent. My um, Max Factor, which they don't sell anymore. My Halo eyeshadows by Smashbox. And then the final drawer is all of my lip products. Now, this drawer is getting to the point where I cannot open it anymore. So, just bear with me. I have um, the new lip glosses from um, Benefit's new holiday collection. I don't remember um, how much these were, but not expensive at all. Laura Geller stuff here. 
I have all of my MAC lipsticks, which I love. MAC makes some really good quality lipsticks, so these are all MAC. MAC. Uh, Napoleon lip glosses and my Stila Cherry Crush um, lip and cheek stain. NYX, my MAC lip glass, which I love. Revlon Color Stay. Essence. I have all kinds of stuff in here, and it goes on and on and on. Stuff I don't even use because I don't even see it. My Smashbox Oglo. And now let's see more Mac lip liners. I'm not a big lip liner fan, so I only have two full size ones, and then this one's half lipstick, half lip liner in there. So let's see what else is in here. More stuff. Oh, this is another Mac lip gloss. This is the um, I think this is the Dazzle Glass Cream Cream, and this is like a hot pink color. I love that. It's so pretty. Um, let's see. yeah, Bare Essentials. Cargo, so yeah, there's just so much in here that I can't even show you guys. It's be taking me forever to go through each one of these things, but yeah, that's basically all of like my little makeup setup. I don't, I don't have a lot of makeup. Um, for some people, have a whole lot more, but for me, I started off with just twenty dollars worth um, a couple years ago, and I've okay. So the room tour is over with. So now you guys know a little bit more about me instead of just seeing this little square here and not seeing what's around me, what I'm looking at. You guys can see now. Um, my little surroundings here, which I love. This is my room, and um, this is where I basically indulge in what I love. I'm very passionate about makeup, so I am glad to share my little area with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.